honestly, I feel as if they've inflicted maximum pain on everybody here quite unnecessarily. They created a problem and we've been stuck with it. I'm Andrew Henderson. I'm a pilot in Hong Kong. We've been living in the marina now for nearly 10 years. Out of the blue, um, they told us four months ago on the 31st of August that we'd have to leave by the 31st of December. It's a very difficult process to manage and Hong Kong resorts could have done a much better job by giving us a lot more notice. And by that I mean years, because people have invested in this lifestyle and it's caused an awful lot of people, a huge amount of financial distress, as well as family distress, which is what we're suffering right now. We're having to move house, probably move school. We're having to do something with this boat and there are no suitable parking spaces for it. The thing that really digs deep in your heart is the emotional stress that it's caused. A, a lovely home that we've been in for many, many years now, um, particularly my daughter who knows nothing else. I haven't seen my daughter cry as much ever in my life. We have a boat, um, which in my case cost $9 million, including the dementia, quite a significant investment, really. I didn't expect this thing to go up in value. I expected it to stabilize or maybe even go slightly down, but not, not dwindle to perhaps five or 10% of its initial value. Uh, I'm fortunate that I don't have a loan on the boat. I've, I've paid it off uh, in, in recent months uh, to, to get rid of that agony. But many of my friends and colleagues have got significant loans on these boats and some six, seven million dollars. Some people have sold houses overseas in order to invest in this lifestyle and they're ruined, actually. We are going to anchor it. That's all we can do. It's the only suitable spot we can find is an anchorage in a typhoon shelter, which is, this is not a self-contained boat. We need power, we need light, you know, we need water, we need the internet, of course, in today's world. And none of that is available on an anchorage in a typhoon shelter. And that's, that's what we're doing with the vessel. On the side of Hong Kong resorts, I don't object to their um, uh, business. They are allowed to redevelop the marina, of course. However, they should think about people first, and they clearly haven't. We are the last thing on their mind. 